there, my name is Marcos. I'm one of the support engineers here with Maven Imaging. Today I'm going to be walking you through the setup and use of our uh, AMRAD Dragon Portable system here. Now, typically we would start with remoting into the PC that we sent you with uh, the imaging software um, that is installed and configured there. Uh, so right now what we're going to do is we're just going to go over some of the hardware uh, of the Dragon Portable system. So right from the very beginning, once you take it out of the box, um, you see here this is the head and the tube, and you've got some different um, adjustments that you can make here. Uh, you've got some collimator adjustments that you can make here. This is the vertical adjustment. Um, also on the side of the head, you've got the horizontal adjustment of the collimator. Uh, to turn on the laser alignment of the collimator, you hit this button. It'll only stay on for you know, by about five seconds or so. So if you do need to realign it, then you can do so. Just hit that button and uh, continue aligning. Uh, continuing here, you've got the control panel. This comes in two different options. One is a manual entry of the technique, uh, which it'll have buttons very similar to what is on the head. Um, or it'll be a digital touchscreen with an anatomical programming and it will also bring over the technique that's automatically pro programmed into the system itself. Um, so whichever one that you have, um, it'll dictate how to use that, uh, that system. Uh, and then you'll see the arm itself. It's got a locking mechanism that you can use to raise and lower the uh, neck. Uh, and then you've got the trigger switch here. Uh, that's going to be connected into the control panel and then continuing on here the wheels have a locking mechanism uh, each one is independent from the other you push it down to lock it and then you pull up in order to release the lock uh, some more information there and now on to the computer itself uh, once you've got that on um, you are going to be prompted with a few things. Now, there's gonna be a few things on the desktop here. We'll move to the desktop. Um, you're gonna have the main Voyance software. This is the software that you're gonna be using to take the images and to view the images, send the images, um, things like that. So do double click on that uh, shortcut on your desktop. That's gonna pull up the uh, login view of the Voyant software here. By default, you're going to have the um, user engineer. That has no password, uh, and you can use that to log in. Now, this emergency option also is in case you have multiple users, and say one of the users forgot the password, but you do have an appointment, and you've got a patient with you, then you can use the em emergency option there, and it'll just take you directly into the software, uh, into a study that you can input information into. Now, um, we are going to go ahead and just go to the main engineer profile uh, and walk you through from the beginning. So uh, you're going to see three tabs here, work list, add, and completed. Um, the work list is for studies that um, are open but not closed yet and not sent to any server or remote uh, destination. The completed section is gonna be for everything that is completed and that has been sent uh, to whatever destination that you preferred it to be sent to. And then add is for uh, new studies to be created and to be uh, taken. So here we're gonna go ahead uh, and input our unique patient ID. Um, I've already got one here, but for these testing purposes, I am going to create a new one. Uh, and then over here, this study also does need to have an accession number. So we're going to go ahead and say accession number one. Uh, first name, Marcos. My last name. Now here, if you don't know the date of birth, you can either enter um, an age manually here, or if you'd like to just enter the date of birth, then it will automatically bring up the age here. So you, it's, you can either do, you can do one or the other for time saving purposes. Now in the performing physician field, 
Uh, this is going to be blank and there won't be anything in here. Um, every time that you say have a new performing position that you need to enter into the system then you can do so in here manually and then once you've entered it the first time then it'll show up here uh, moving forward so here we'll just say we'll say Um, and then here the scheduled date and notes and, and different options here that would be for say you want to um, create many different studies in the beginning of the day or the day before uh, so that way when you come into the office later on you can go into the work list and it'll show in right there uh, and then you can kind of go through each individual uh, meeting that way so I'll I will uh, actually show an example of that now we're gonna go ahead and hit save so now we have this in the work list these have no images in the uh, in the study itself so we're gonna go in here and we're gonna say say we need a chest a P for medium size human being um, we can go ahead there and uh, once our panel and our head are both aligned, uh, you can go ahead and expose the image. And then that'll upload here. Uh, once you have this image in view, uh, you by default, it's gonna look like this. A lot of, most of the time I like to just fold this in because we don't need this anatomical view any longer and this will take us into our tool layouts. So uh, we can go ahead and take multiple images here. Say I wanted to do a chest PA, then we can do that as well. That'll come in here. Um, you can have uh, multiple images. We'll just go over a couple of the tools here. Say you wanna do two images, um, you can do each one side by side. In order to do that, um, you kind of just so with uh, this view here you select the image that you want to be on the left side and then um, select this and then you can select your second image and it will go ahead and show you there uh, and so on with different um, types of views um, we can then go back to just a single view you can rotate clockwise rotate counterclockwise you can reset the zoom um, you can use your scroll wheel to go in and out say maybe you've lost the picture and you don't know where you're going and you don't know how to get back just go ahead and hit reset zoom and you'll get right back to the default view um, flip you can do that both vertically and horizontally you can um, also uh, manipulate the exposure uh, in a very fine way when you select this tool you select that tool and then left click on the image and then drag your mouse to the right and drag your mouse to the left um, and it will adjust the exposure accordingly you can crop the image as well say you wanted to just focus here you can do that uh, hit escape to get out of most of the tools uh, angles uh, you can take that as well. I um, don't know what uh, what you guys usually use that for, but that's how you can use that tool. You can um, use the distance tool by clicking and dragging um, markers, different labels you can use here. Um, and then you can use free text. Uh, and in order to do that you just place the tag and then select it and then double click it and you can edit the text in the middle there uh, say you want to remove the overlays then you can do so using this tool and then in order to reset the image you can do that as well that'll discard card all the edits and then of course you can delete the image itself and retake it if you need to uh, so those are some of the um, generic tools uh, then a lot of different tools you can use to uh, by going into this uh, tools area by unfolding this this view here 
So uh, by default, you're going to see the image. Um, you can use the soft preset to view soft tissue and things like that. It's just preset exposures, uh, and then you can go into hard, and that'll kind of uh, adjust the, the contrast and, and different levels to see uh, more hard tissue. So, uh, and then you can, of course, manipulate these uh, independently of each other and you can also play with just the image itself manually by adjusting the exposure here you can also invert that can uh, a lot of times be helpful um, and then you can have uh, different grids that uh, that you can use now um, there are also a lot of specialized tools that you can use you can mark different tools uh, in different ways here with different colors. So say you want to uh, uh, measure one against a different, um, I don't know how, how you'd like to use that, but you can have that um, at your disposal. Now there's a bunch of different advanced tools in here that you can use based off of your practice and um, your different needs. So that is about it for the tools themselves now once you're ready um, to send this image off or complete the image and you're done with the study and say the the patient would like this information you can configure setting up email uh, that you can call support at any time to help you configure you can export the image say in this case to your desktop you can go over here to uh, set the folder. In this case, you'll go to desktop, OK. Um, what I like to do is I'll select DICOM and JPEG. JPEG is just a standard default uh, image file type. And then DICOM is the kind of industry standard uh, x-ray image file type. Um, that one, a lot of people don't know what it is, but when you export it, um, you know, you can use that to send it to different people in the industry and they'll know what to do with it. So uh, you can select all images or you can do the selected images only. And to do that, you can use uh, control select. So hit the control button on your keyboard and go through the different images that you would like to highlight, highlight them, um, select the selected images only option and then hit OK. In this case, we're going to do all images and select OK. Now you can see down here in the status bar, this will typically tell you just what the Voin software is working on at that time. Um, now, once you've exported, then you can go back to your desktop and the uh, export will be right here. And once you open that, uh, then it'll show you your different images. Now the DCM images, because um, they're non-standard, they, uh, they typically users don't have a program installed to view those. So the export does include an executable tool to view those. And to do that, to use that, you just double click the viewer and um, it'll show you the DICOM imagery there. Uh, so once you, so that's export, the burn CD option. Most of the time computers don't have a, a DVD burner or a CD burner in them, but if you do have that, and if that is a part of your process, then you can use that um, at your will. So then you have a PDF report, which you can use, say you wanted to give a report, um, you know, notes one, and, um, you can just include and disclude different information based off of uh, your findings and so on and so forth. Uh, once you're done, then you can go ahead and hit OK and it will output the file in a similar fashion to how we exported the files before. You're going to hit desktop, say we wanted to put it in this folder, give it a name, we'll just say port save and then you can go ahead and save that and that will bring you right back up here to the report that you have right here and that exports in PDF so now we've got all that info there 
Uh, now moving forward in Voyant software, you also have a print function. Now the print function is only going to work with um, specialized x-ray printing machines. Uh, and this is set up through the settings down here to in Voyant and settings. We do recommend that you uh, contact us if you would like to set up that uh, that printing ability as it is uh, a little bit detailed so um, moving forward then you also have the edit say um, you know I wanted to adjust my patient ID I maybe I entered the wrong patient ID or the accession number or um, just any wrong information um, I'll just adjust my middle initial there hit OK and that information is now updated here uh, and it'll show in the different documentation um, now say you would like to pause the study say the patient had to run to the restroom or um, you know there are different scenarios that you could go through um, that'll add the study to the work list and it'll just save it there for your um, future completion um, and then you can just double click that to get back into it and uh, here once we're completely finished with the study and we would like to move forward uh, with a different patient then you'll go ahead down here to uh, the done option this is going to open um, by default it's going to open the different remote nodes this voyance packs option here is the um, the location that all of your images are stored by default and it's located on this machine so this is always going to be selected by default and then this uh, radiologist test you can we can set up uh, custom remote nodes to send all of your imagery out to the radiologist that you work with or um, you know different options like that so by default what we have is uh, voyance packs software by uh, that we send our imagery to you can also select do not ask next time and this won't pop up and it'll just keep your defaults here so you'll go ahead and Select OK, and again down here in the status bar, this is going to upload into the VPAC software. And um, that is about it for the Voyant software. Now, in order to go and look at different studies that you have uh, completed in, in the past, then you'll go to completed. Um, it'll have a default search option here, which a lot of times will it'll only show you say for instance here all time there are three studies um, but by default it would only show me the one what we would do to mediate that is we remediate that we would go up here hit clear search and then all of our studies are back up here so you can go ahead and double click and do whatever you need to do say um, in the case that you'd like to send this to only the radiologist you would hit to server uh, and select radiologist and deselect the vpacs and um, that'll only only send the documents to the radiologist and it won't save to the vpacs because it's already saved there you can go ahead and hit ok there uh, again you'll have your status down here and that will give you any information that is pertinent to the uh, current setup so um, that completes the voyance portion of the software now um, here your panels are going to have some different configurations it's going to come with all the the required um, accessories that you'll need to function uh, in the imagery environment so continuing here um, with the panel this is how you power the panel you've got the charger connection there you've got your battery levels if it is a wireless charger um, so we've got our uh, different connection status um, LEDs here and uh, this goes over the mobile cassette holder if that is something that you work with your system uh, so aside from that we have uh, looks like we've completed the training here if you ever need any uh, support or you need to, to reach any of us here at Maven Imaging support the 
number to dial is 1-800-949-8015, option two, and you will get to one of us and we'll help you as fast as we can. Most of the time it's, um, it's a very fast turnaround for any support that you do need. And um, we are a 24 seven support desk. So feel free to call at any time. And uh, good luck and uh, have fun with your new with your new setup. So thank you so much. Have a great rest of your day.